Well, hello there. My name is HW. Hey, I'm the Seuss. And uh, that is Cora Trim. It really is. I invented it. <laughs> it's uh, two things I like. You put them together, uh -huh. and you give it another name. You doubly like it. Mm -hmm. I doubly like it. That is a beautiful sounding guitar, by the way. Yeah, it sounds awesome. It is the, uh, well, it's a Don Grosh, yeah. but it's a uh, Lambertone equipped Restretos. guitar. Yeah, it's got the Ristrettos okay. in there, which I think are sold out now. Yeah. Or there's a long wait list. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I think you can still buy them, but, but he's, yeah. he's backed up for a long time. Sure. Uh -huh. They're pretty great, uh, kind of um, light, bright, airy sounding P90s. Mm -hmm. I like them. We're talking about the Cora Trim Suze. Now, Cora Trim is, a, is an effect that I originally sort of put together in this fashion on some Helix patches. Okay. And I loved it because um, I found that what was really cool was... Um, you know, modulation takes on a different flavor when you place it before or after mm -hmm. um, sort of the the amp stack. And so you can do that easily on the Kemper or on the Helix or most modelers, the Axe or whatever. You can move things around fairly easily. So I've always liked my trem sort of in the back mm -hmm. so that choppiness gets there. Mm -hmm. I love having delay and reverb too, but I've always found that trem sort of in the back uh, gives it that choppiness, but I like having a little... Delay and reverb after it to smooth it out. Okay. So we've got the trem running in the back right here, and then we've got chorus running in front. If you run chorus after uh, the amp, it's much more subtle. It's sort of more hi-fi and sheeny. You know, okay. it really seems to more affect the high end. But when you run a chorus in front you get more of that traditional sort of almost lo-fi chorus sound. Okay. And it sounds great. So here is, um, I've assigned them up here as well for people. This is a free download, of course, uh, on the site. Let's try that out with no Cora Trem effect and just hear the core amp tone. And this is, uh, just for everybody at home, this is the Tweed Twin Low. This is B3, Tweed Twin Low Bright Channel. So it's a, it's a high, uh, low power Tweed Twin type amp on the Bright Channel. Edge of breakup. Yeah. Esque. So, really quick, I'm going to turn on the Cora Trem and I'll break it down a little bit. Here's the Cora Trem effect. <laughs> Write a guitar part around that part around this. Mm -hmm. You could play around with it. You could throw it over a verse two. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Yeah. It's not for the faint of heart. It's not the ear candy thing. Yeah. Right? This. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You could do sing. Try some single note thing just to hear how that would uh, sound. <laughs> That, that's a sound that's like, I would say, it's very in right now mm -hmm. with pop and worship type tones, yep. you know. Separates it a little bit from the rest of the mix. Yeah. You know? Just... Hot take, vibrato's in. <laughs> True. Um, okay, so Cora Trem. So let me limit, let's add these one at a time so we can hear what's going on. So um, you, they heard it like dry, or not dry, it has the lane reverb, but with no Cora Trem. Mm -hmm. Here's just the trem in the back. So the trem is really giving the movement uh, on the on the um, you know sort of the, the pulsing part mm -hmm. of it, right? It's giving the um, the dynamic movement. Here is just the chorus by itself. <laughs> That's like a very, to me, a very classic sounding CE1 style chorus. Mm -hmm. Multiple voices crammed together. Sounds kind of, it sounds very 80s, very lo-fi. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound like a bright, breathy, 
airy sort of thing. Yeah. You and, know what I mean? And pretty overt, like pretty in yeah. your face. Not uh, subtle. Yeah. This is not subtle. Yeah. I've been listening to a lot of Tears for Fears lately. Right. And um, <laughs> I think, honestly, those two effects, like vibrato is this thing that sometimes gets, like, like on Fender amps, mm -hmm. they're labeled vibrato, but they're actually tremolo. Mm -hmm. So tremolo moves like the volume of the amp. It's the bop, 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 the start and stop. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Vibrato is the movement of the pitch. Like that's a very wide vibrato that I'm, you know, going like a half mm -hmm. step there, right? Um, you could have a micro pitch shifter, which is so small that it's actually moving the, tr the, the shifting. But chorus does that great thing of you have your, it actually creates, is, chorus is from the idea that when you have like a choral sound mm -hmm. or multiple vocalists, that they don't sing perfectly in pitch with each other, mm -hmm. but they sing close to pitch with each other. And that as long as the pitch is close, it gives us a sound that doesn't bother us. Mm -hmm. So you can stray four cents, five cents, six cents, seven, ten cents, twelve cents, right? Mm -hmm. And rather than taking the original signal and shifting around, right, you just have your original signal and then we create other voices with different amounts of detuning. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to be just that choral sound. Yeah. It just sounds like you're in the water. Yeah. And to Shimmery, me... Shimmery, watery. Yeah. This is the type... I have always liked trem and chorus together. And with the Kemper, I've discovered I like them in two different spots. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Where'd you use this? Like in a song? Yeah. yeah I mean, I like I like palm muting with that kind of thing. Yeah. It's like the, you know, the police type of... Sound. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, long held, kind of lush, like... Yeah. You know, just like letting it hang and... And I get if people thing. feel like that's a dated sound. But as soon as, to me, as soon as you go to single note stuff, it mm -hmm. becomes a very, uh, like, trendy sound again. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Holding those big, long chords really gives up all that 80s-sounding, mm -hmm. chorusy stuff. Yeah. But I hear a lot of vibrato right now mm -hmm. on, on stuff. Mm-hmm. Not just on um, Sunday Vibes. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> although, although there, for yeah, sure. Oh, it's there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been myself throwing a lot of chorus on verses and um, little parts, you know, mm -hmm. and trying to separate that way. And uh, so I want to work this into my live Sunday setup. Yeah. Yeah. And this could be one thing that you, like, you swap them instead of turn them both on. If you yeah. want to go from trim to chorus, totally. it's another way to totally. set it up. Totally. You, you have the, yeah, it's really two effects that I think work well together, but you have a very vintage sounding strong chorus. If you wanted to, we can just show them that, if you wanted to lower the mix or get rid of some of that, that extreme sound, you could, mm -hmm. we can lower the depth. Right. Now try playing that. <laughs> So the yeah. depth is one way to control the field. The other way I would say is I'm going to turn the mix down. Start playing. The, I'll have the mix at 100%. I'll lower it. too much I could see mix at 50% really being uh, mm -hmm. the way to go there and of course don't forget I left the tube screamer right here and um, I'm gonna put that mix back at a hundred but um, uh, we'll put it back down at 50 so people can hear a little subtle flavor mm -hmm. but if you turn on a tube screamer you do a single note thing or chords I mean you there's another thing here for sure mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, vibey for sure. A little depth to parts and, yeah. and lines. Yeah. Yeah. And I think sometimes it comes through in the mix and doesn't even quite sound like chorus. Mm -hmm. It's just moddy. Right. And then you turn it off. It's like, oh, I liked it. Put yeah, it back on. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. yeah, you know. Well, this is fun. They can download a Cora Trim. 
uh, on Facebook, it's up there. On YouTube, it's down here. And it's a free download on the Tone Junkie Tips and Tricks page. If you like anything uh, that you saw in today's video, uh, or you get anything out of the Tone Junkie channel. If you like the free downloads, if you've learned something, if you just find this mildly entertaining or annoying, <laughs> please hit like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. I've been HW. I'm the Suze. Suze, play us out. I'll turn that, turn that chorus back up. Thank <laughs> you.